Good morning, it's another day. Last night, I picked up Tina and Crunch from where they got onto the road just east of the Yellowstone East entrance. And I drove them down to Rex Hale Campground because that was the first campground that allows tent camping. Everything west of there, you have to have a heart sighted, so it wasn't really good for them. And uh, they've been walking these canyons and uh, yesterday I hiked three miles of it and there's no campsite. So that wound up being really good. They got to toss out their trash, clean up a little because they had running water as well as, uh, yeah, everything else. But I dropped them off where I picked them up yesterday. And now I'm on my way to Lamar Valley because I my goal on this whole trip is to see animals, at least a grizzly bear. I want to see a grizzly bear so badly. But uh, I'm just kind of making my way. And the clouds look pretty wild. It rained for a bit there on the east entrance. Um, so I set up the camera for a time lapse just so I could. It's kind of cool seeing it move. When you stare at it with the human eyes, it's just like you can't see it move that much. But it's always cool in a time lapse because then you can see it like move real quickly. So I'm just going to let it run for 30 minutes and um, then I'll keep going. Maybe I'll just do like 20 minutes so I can keep going. My plan, ideally, if I had my way, is there is a campground east of Lamar Valley called Pebble Creek. I would love to stay there so tomorrow morning bright and early I can head out to the Lamar Valley area and look for animals. But I heard that's a really busy campground. It's all first come first serve but I suppose you got to get there really early to line up so when people leave you get their spot so you can't really get like the best spots um i don't know if i'll have any luck if it's full which most likely it will be i'll just keep driving east and exit the northeast entrance and then find some dispersed camping two days ago monday i actually drove up to billings and met up with everyday backpacker he's a patreon and another youtuber um he makes great videos so i think once people learn about his channel, it'll it'll get more popular. Um, but yeah, I'd say go check it out. I'll leave a link. I always forget what corner. I think it's going to be over here. But I'll leave a link there. Um, go ahead and check him out. And uh, he's going to post a video of his Clouds Peak Wilderness trip coming up soon. And I drove just north of there in Bighorn National Forest. And I remember looking south at it just wanting to backpack there someday so it's kind of nice i bet it's gonna be beautiful so i would definitely check them out it should be coming in the next few days i'm not sure before coming down here i actually went up to the lake butte overlook and uh i just went up there because i wanted a place to park so i can make some coffee <laughs> but it was great views and i thought about starting a time lapse there too um there was a big clap of thunder i think it was far away it looked like rain was coming here i guess rain might be coming if i see any drops i'm gonna run out and grab the camera but uh i think i got at least 20 minutes before the rain hits you can still see it back there it's not it's not close but so unfortunately there's a a road between like canyon village and tower village or tower or something that's close so you got to go all the way around the western loop so it's gonna be a long day of driving. I'm not pro I'm probably won't be able to get to Lamar Valley till like two o'clock or something. It is nine o'clock now. Mm. Tough one. All these distractions too. I, it's gonna take me a long time to get there. Somewhere in the trees is a grizzly bear. There's a ton of traffic, but fortunately there was this parking spot, so I just pulled in and I saw it in between the trees, but I didn't have my camera. Or I had my camera, but I couldn't figure out where he was. He's in there somewhere. Can't quite see him. Where is he? He's behind the trees. I hope it didn't go up. So the bear was up there somewhere, and the ranger was here. She stopped because of all the traffic that was here. And when she was here, she said the bear actually came down to the water and jumped in. 
sat around and then went back up. So I missed the good show just by minutes. When I got here, I only saw it for like a second and it was gone. Sucks. But at least I saw it, visually saw it, but sorry, no photos or videos. If I didn't stop to go pee at the last trailhead, maybe I could have got some video, maybe I've seen it better. If I didn't try to pee at the general store and then also go to the trailhead, I could have spotted it just minutes away. So disappointing. I saw it, but it was just way too quick. Way too quick. I need more. I turned the car forward and I've been using binoculars and looking around, but I have a feeling he's not going to come back to this spot. But he was basically right up there and, and then gone in a second. Looks like he probably went up, up and over. I don't know. He's a little guy. Bar. I've been here long enough, I guess he's not going to be at the same spot. He's probably moved on, but... Well, traffic's backed up again, but this time it's just a regular old herd of bison, the usual. I think they back up more traffic than other things. They just are not afraid of cars at all. I see some up on the hill, just way up ahead. Hey, buddies. Scratching your head on a sign. Is he intercepting the road? This guy's coming. Oh, yep. He's cutting me off. No, he's not. He's veering at the last second. Oh, he's gonna go on the street. Probably to poop. Oh, some of them are like making noises. <laughs> I gotta say that was kind of fun. I've never seen them act like that. It's the rut, I heard. And the males, the big males especially, are just like <sighs> sticking their tongue out and they're chasing after the ladies and they are not leaving the ladies alone. Um, it doesn't seem to be like one alpha male. It's just like a male finds a female and just follows her <laughs> nonstop. One kept like sniffing a female and like licking and the female would jerk away. I guess she didn't want him, but there's some big males walking around here. Whew. Crazy. In case anyone wonders how I bathe, this is how I do it. Canteen cup or cup, I guess. I just put some squirts of uh, Dr. Bronner's soap in there. And uh, I use this blue like Asian wash rag. And what I do is basically just Put a little bit of water and just mix it up and then uh, use the wash rag and just clean myself off. And then the key is you have to get wads of paper towel and wet it with the bottle of water. And then with the wet paper towel you can actually rub off most of the soap. It actually feels really good once you're done. And you get a lot of the 
skin off as well with that loofah thing. So works great and it only uses maybe quarter of a liter of water at most. So between a liter and a half, I could bathe and wash my hair. And now I'm going to rinse this out with the rest of this. In case some people may think it's gross, I'm using this to basically bathe with and then I eat out of it. It's soap. It's the same soap you use to wash the pot. So it's not too bad. It does look gross in the bottom. I won't show you, but because all the dead skin. But uh, it's the same soap. And you don't smell anything. It's fine. Yeah, I bathed, but I didn't wash my hair. I washed my hair yesterday morning. So that's good enough, right? And then Friday, we're all meeting up and going to uh, going to town. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to waste a liter of water as well. I only have about four liters. No, seven liters of water altogether. And I want to get some water to crunch and tina on the road i'm gonna bump into them later in the afternoon tomorrow um tomorrow morning i'm gonna just wake up super early and head into the park and try to get a campsite at pebble creek um that's the one that i tried to today it was it was awful though but uh i'll try to leave here at 4 30 so i can get there at 5. <laughs> wish me luck by the way i don't know if it's normal but they close um Bear Tooth Pass, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. every, well, Monday through Thursday, it's closed, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So if you want to get to the park really early this way, don't camp before Bear Tooth Pass. Get past it. Right now, I'm just east of Clark City. Um, there's this really bad road, pretty steep and bumpy, too, with huge drop-offs. Um, I took that and I just kept going and I found this flat spot, so it works. So I'm here. Um, I'm hearing less traffic now because I think they closed the pass. I'm still surprised there's so many cars coming. I did fly a drone around and I saw <laughs> there's a van. Uh, he just drove up the road a little bit where it was still okay and he just parked on the side of the road where I'm kind of off a little, so it works out better for me. And uh, I guess... He can't come up here. No way. If there's no water at Pebble Creek, I'm just going to filter water somewhere. <laughs> Odds are also if tomorrow morning I don't get a camp spot, camp spot at Pebble Creek, I'm just going to go on a hike and look for animals and then go meet Tina and Crunch, give them their water, and I'm just going to leave this park and try to come to the same spot again. I don't think too many people will come up here, so it'll be safe. And uh, on the way, I can just buy more water at at the Clark City. With all, you know, there's, there's a general store there. Um, I can filter water. I just don't want to get another filter wet. Like, all my filters are new. I don't have any one I've used. So I like to just avoid doing that. and just Because I don't want to use it just for a little while and then... I'm going to have to air it out. And it's just not the same when you get a filter wet and you kind of air it out. I don't know. Some people recommend you run some diluted beach water through it to kill anything in there. I don't know. It's just, I prefer not to get a filter wet. Oh, well. You know how borrowed Tina's filter or something? Hmm.